ducks keep laying their eggs over there and it is a pain to crawl under all of that and get the eggs. See, I haven't been gathering them because I don't want to crawl in there. Well, welcome back to Lori Farm, everybody. Uh, walking out to the deer stand this morning with Libby. I got to get my tripod. It's mounted up in there. And uh, we got uh, we got a lot of work to get done today. So sit back, relax, and uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Right, Lib? How many cats are in that barn? Jeez. Good morning, baby chickens. Hey, I got you guys some water over here. But instead we're doing this. Okay. Why are you guys back in the coop? You should go outside. Thanks for listening. All right, well today we're gonna do uh, the final uh, barn upgrades for the year. I'm pretty excited about it. Just get some little stuff out of the way that uh, isn't always that fun to deal with, but whatever. So we got this little passway through here uh, between, uh, between the coops and we're gonna get a door put on that. And uh, we're gonna get this wall open up so that you can see through that also. So that has all the fencing just like we've done on the rest of the barn. So that's gonna be really nice to have that done. We're also gonna make some more room for, uh, for the chickens in here. So we got these perches up a uh, little roosting area up there and we're gonna add uh, we're gonna add some over here so this many birds in the barn it'll be nice to uh, give them as much room as possible I'm pretty sure it's a chicken coop not a cat coop all right well I got Sarah out in the barn so we're gonna get tackling some of these one of the coolest things that we're gonna do today that I'm really looking forward to is uh, where we have like the chicken area where they um, have their nesting boxes the ducks really like to go underneath that area and lay their eggs and it's impossible to get to that area, of course. So we're gonna make a little access door for that and kind of have basically like a little duck, uh, duck egg box. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Boy, you're up pretty high, be careful. All right, I'm gonna try to get some of that wood off of there. Oh, if it's just sitting up there or if there's one more. Just sitting. All right, so yeah, I gotta cut a little bit more off of this, uh, this sheet of plywood just to even it up with the other side so we can fence it in. But then we'll get the bottom put on and build the door. Yeah, okay. What are we on day two of carving pumpkins? Yep, yeah, Frankenstein. Frankenstein, awesome. You wearing the same outfit as yesterday? No. It's not bedtime, you should go outside and play. Where are you going, Foghorn? Well, we're getting pretty far now. So. Yep, now I just gotta build the door. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, we'll, we'll have this little door that we're gonna put on here is the pass through. That should work out perfect. And we can just open it or close it whenever we need to to separate the main coop from the uh, back of the barn coop. So. turned out pretty nice so let's be able to have this little door it'd be nice for me to incorporate animals and stuff too yeah yeah this is coming in here and unscrewing and screwing it all the time right no that's gonna be perfect so lock them in lock them out that's what i always say hey deuce okay thanks for all the help today gonna go take a nap all right Vivian, what are you doing? Get down from there. You guys just chilling out, being comfy? Right. How did you guys get locked in here? Huh? All right, go play.
Um, so I'm taking this off and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a rectangle in here to make a door because the ducks keep laying their eggs over there and it is a pain to crawl under all of that and get the eggs. So we're going to make a door that flips up so then I can just reach in and grab the duck eggs. Make my life easier and less messy. <laughs> and that is where they lay their eggs right now. And as you can see, I haven't been gathering them because I don't want to crawl in there. So anyways, this area is right below the, uh, the nesting boxes, as you can see from this little guy. And uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a, uh, a top on it that goes across. So it'll be a nice little warm area for the ducks to actually be this winter. And uh, one of the bonuses for that is, is that when the ducks are in there staying nice and warm, any of the heat that comes out will actually transfer directly up to where all the chickens perch at night. So both should benefit from this. So we got the door cut and installed. So you just turn the latch, pull it up. Latch it up here. Perfect. Makes life easier. Yeah, that really looks looks and works good. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a huge benefit. It's funny how the little projects make that big of a difference, but it really is gonna make a huge difference for me. Now onto the poopy side. Well, we got the ramps taken out of here, and then this is gonna get the plywood over the top of it. The only downfall to this is I'm a little bit worried that this is gonna be just covered in poop, but pretty much everything in here is covered in poop. We'll get the plywood on here, and uh, I think this will be a nice little area for the ducks. I, I think that they will really choose this as a nice warm spot. So. This should be a nice little area. Yeah, this is going to be nice. He's happy that the barn's all back to normal. You can enjoy your peace and quiet. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get to come play soon. So one of the bonuses from the projects that we got done today, uh, specifically making the duck poop and egg access is I we got a new ramp out of it but it worked out really well because the one we had here was rotten and broken so we needed to replace it so we took the one from inside put it here we put the other ramp here for um, the meat birds because it'll help them in their chicken run since they're separate so it worked out great all right so what we got accomplished today you can follow me back in here we got our hinged access done, which is really exciting for when we incorporate animals or if we just need to close this off for some reason. Easy access, nice quick hinge. We also added this extra perch here since we have so many more chickens. So this will be a nice addition for them also. And then right this way, the thing I'm most excited about is what we got going on over here for the duck eggs because those have been quite difficult to deal with. So just being able to lift this up like this, hook it, pretty ingenious, get in there and get our eggs. So right in through here, having that little warming spot will be wonderful. Nice shoes you got on there, Ben. Yep. Just get on oh, my so first of all, you gotta cut this part out and hollow it out. So we have an angle. Do you know what I mean? Can I help? Nope. It's bleeding. This one right right next to it. Okay. Well, if I had a knife, I would have done it faster. Chickens are gonna be happy when you guys start pulling out the food, though. Yeah.
Looks pretty good. Looks good, dude. Yeah, that only took you guys like five hours. Well, pumpkins were a huge success this year and with Halloween being tomorrow, it marks the end of our season. But um, thanks for watching and you should watch the next video. I think you'd enjoy it.